before we get started, I wanna plug my other channel, The Blind Guys, where we test everything blind to remove all kinds of bias, like price bias and brand bias. I think especially keep us from seeing things objectively, as well as aesthetic bias as well. And we just did a video where we uh, blind tested seven different chairs in the $300 to $700 price range. And the Aeron, the classic Aeron with the Atlas headrest was in that lineup. And if I can say so myself, I think it's one of the funniest videos that we've done. I think it's really entertaining. So would, you, would you spend that money? I don't know, it's cheap as ain't buying that. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen that side. <laughs> and informative. And we actually just wrapped up filming part two, where we blind test the Uber high-end chairs, where yours truly, the Embody over here, as well as the classic Aeron and the remastered Aeron are in that video as well. So hope you guys check it out. Get subscribed over there. I'd really appreciate the support. Let's get honest. Okay, so if anything in this video gets you guys excited, gets you guys upset, or maybe you just wanna see Atlas headrest bring out the Embody headrest sooner, make sure you guys voice that in the comments below. Atlas headrest told me that they're gonna be monitoring the comments very carefully, and they told me that they might deviate from what you guys hear today in this video, but it really depends on the amount of community outcry. So. I think the Embody review that I did has like 50,000 views. Imagine if like a fifth of you guys, like 10,000 people voiced out, we want this headrest now. I'm pretty sure that would motivate Atlas Headrest to reprioritize things to bring it out sooner. And of course, while you leave the comment, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. So I got to sit down for like two-ish hours with Atlas Headrest and ask them a ton of questions about the Embody Headrest. And I wanna share that with you guys, but can I say the folks over at Atlas Headrest are really cool. They're enthusiasts, they're super passionate about what they do. They're not out to get rich. They're out to deliver super high quality, one-to-one -one matches with these Herman Miller chairs while giving us maximum support around the neck area, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And they actually gave me a $5 coupon code to share with you guys. If you guys use my link down below, it is an affiliate link. I would appreciate that a lot. And you can use the code Entourage for $5 off. Also, make sure you guys get subscribed because they told me that they would be sending me a prototype of the Embody headrest once it's ready. And they've also got a lot of other cool projects, which I'm not allowed to talk about, but again, you'll be seeing them here on this channel when they're ready. And if you guys haven't picked up an Embody yet, it's actually really good news for you. Uh, if you wanted to pick one up, it's actually really good news for you, which I'll get to later in the color section. But if you guys wanna pick one up from Herman Miller, please use my affiliate link down below. Again, that really helps this channel a lot. So let's start with the design. Many of you guys have seen these images float around maybe on the Herman Miller subreddit or on the Herman Miller Discord. And if you guys aren't part of the Herman Miller Discord, I highly recommend you join. It's a good place to get news and it's also a great place to ask for help and get guidance on like which chair, like the great deals and things like that. So it's a really cool place. Anyways, so on the design, they had two ideas in mind. One was the attached and the other was the integrated. And the integrated looks really funny because it would make our bodies look like Star Wars droids. It's kind of funny. but. Ultimately, they decided to go with the attached design. And I'm not gonna get into all the reasons why, but overall, what would happen was the integrated design, you can see that it's flatter and then it rounds off on the top. And the theory behind that headrest would be that that curve would kind of sit on the lower part of your neck and it would give you thoracic support, which is like upper back support. But I wasn't super thrilled about that idea because the Atlas headrest for the Aerons use a different design, use actually the attached headrest design where it fits in the curvature of your neck and it goes all the way up and it supports all the way up to your spine's Atlas. That's the reason why their company calls themselves Atlas headrest. It's after the design of their headrest, which is kind of neat. So yeah, their attached design is gonna be just like the headrest that exists for the Aerons, which if you guys haven't experienced these, Every single person, and I've had maybe like 20 people come to my house wanting to test out the Aerons. Everybody has been like, these headrests are game changing compared to the other headrests and all these other chairs, including on this $1,500 gesture that I just picked up and I'm, gonna, I'm testing right now. So I asked them in the pictures, the headrest has the same pixel design as the Embody. And if, for those of you who don't know, these this pixel structure allows the chair to really flex with your back and your bottom. And I said, is that gonna be the case for the headrest as well? And they said, no, it's just for aesthetics only to give you that one-to-one -one match, that clean match. But you don't really need that flex in the headrest, you know, because you already get a lot of flex from the cushion that's gonna be on the headrest. So one of the main differences between the Aerons and the Embody is that the Aeron comes in three different sizes, whereas the Embody is a one size fits all chair. And so Alice Headrest had to figure out like, how do we make a headrest that can accommodate someone who's like five foot one all the way to someone who's like a freak of nature, six foot seven. Just kidding, I love you guys. You know, how do you, how do, you do that? And then to add to that, how do you make a headrest where you don't have a lot of connection points on this chair, right? And in the rendered images, it has like a single latch point here. How do you make it so that if you were to extend the headrest all the way out, 
Physics tells you that, you know, if you've got the center of gravity, if you're that far away from the center of gravity, something's gonna wobble. That connection's gonna be really shaky. So how do you engineer a headrest that's gonna be able to do all that? Now, Atlas Headrest said, that's the reason why this is taking so long. That's the reason why this is gonna be expensive because figuring this stuff out, the R&D required has been really challenging. Now, they told me that they made really good progress. They told me that they figured it out. But, and I love that in the rendered images as well, that when you look at their headrest, they actually solved a lot of my fears because I'm fairly short, I'm five foot six. So my head doesn't come that far off of this back. And if you look at the rendered images, the headrest actually extends underneath the top lip of the chair, which is really cool. That means the headrest is gonna work for people like me and also for you freaks of nature that are six foot seven. So looking forward to seeing how that would work. Now, one of the questions I think I posted on uh, Reddit saying, hey, give me your questions. They asked like, how many connection points will there be? Is it gonna be intrusive? You know, do we have to screw anything on? Like, or do we have to detach anything? They said they were playing around with the idea of making it more invasive, meaning like you have to mess with the chair. But at, as of this point, I think it's going to be a latch onto the back. I don't know how many connection points, but they're sticking with like generally those rendered images are going to be generally true to what we're going to see in the final product. So like the Aeron's headrest, the Embody's headrest will also be able to adjust on the X axis as well as the Y axis, and then it'll be able to pivot on the front. But unlike the Aeron's headrest, the Embody's headrest is gonna see some overlap in the X and Y axis when you adjust it. So one of the things that made the Aeron's headrest so innovative and game-changing for me was that you could pivot or you could change the X axis totally independently from the Y axis, which really made a huge difference. The Embody headrest is not gonna have that. So if you want to adjust the X axis, if you wanna bring it closer to you, it's gonna be like a down and closer. It's gonna be like a roller, think about when you do like a roller coaster chair, it's gonna be like, go, 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 like this, like, like that. And the reason for that is there's a couple reasons, but one of it has to do with the fact that one of the big complaints that Atlas has gotten about the Aeron headrest was when you control the X axis like this, like if you can do that, well, you get this big bar sticking on the back because you need that in order to have that range of motion. But what would happen is people would end up leaning back and because this bar stuck out kind of far, it would hit the wall and damage the wall or damage the headrest. And a lot of people complained about that. So in order to avoid that, they're gonna design it so that if the embodied headrest is all the way back and you were to lean back all the way back in your chair, you have an intuitive sense of like, oh, I'm gonna hit the chair, the, the, back, the wall, so I gotta be careful. So that's part of the reason why they designed it that way. They told me like, don't worry though, it's gonna have a huge range of motion. And also, uh, hold on, let me read this button, I forgot. Oh, I asked them like, when you adjust it, is it gonna be ratchety? Because again, one of my favorite parts about this headrest is that, look, it's smooth. You don't hear any ratchetiness. All these other headrests have ratchetiness that's either way too hard to move or way too loose. And they told me, no, it's gonna be smooth just like the Aeron's headrest. And you're gonna have a tension knob that's gonna really be able to grip down to keep things stable exactly the way you like it. On to the colors. This is what I was talking about in the beginning that if you have not picked up an Embody yet, but you plan to, you're in good luck for two reasons. One is because not every Embody is gonna get a headrest. So with this information, you can try to make sure you get one with that's gonna have a headrest. And two is because in February of 2021, Herman Miller actually did a minor refresh of their chairs where they added more cushion to the bottom. And a lot of people responded very positively to that. So if you wanna make sure you get a chair that's post 2020, February 2021, then I recommend you order directly from Herman Miller. And again, you can use my link down below to order it. And that really helps this channel so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so the gaming and body were the embodies that put the embodies on the map. Wow, that's a lot of embodies in a sentence. But yeah, they really put the embodies on the map and they by far have the most volume of sales when it comes to the embody. And Atlas Headrest not being a huge company, they're trying to make wise business decisions. And in this case, they're following the volumes, right? So if you want to guarantee yourself a headrest that, that they're gonna and the first, you know, line of headrest. The gaming embody is the way to go. Now, let's say you're not a huge fan because there are some issues with the gaming bodies where they squeak a little bit more. People don't love some of the padding that Herman Miller has put in there. Well, there are gonna be a few matches, a few guaranteed regular embody headrests, and it's gonna be the, the sink and the medley fabrics in black and gray. Now, I think the medley fabric, I was looking this up, it doesn't really have a gray color. So I'm gonna have to confirm with Atlas Headrest which color they were talking about. But yeah, and I think in the frames, they're gonna come in both graphite and white. So that means even my baby here, 
is not gonna get a matching headrest because this is the balanced fabric, not the not the medley or the sink. So I asked, you know, would you guys do like custom orders? And they said, it depends. It depends on the amount of demand. So again, sound off in the comments below. So timing and price. When I released the Embody headrest video, I told you guys that they told me nine to 12 months. Well, when I talked to them like a couple weeks ago, they were like, yeah, it's still nine to 12 months. So they haven't, the timeline hasn't really changed at all. It's still nine to 12 months. They told me that they would really like to release it sometime in 2022. So fingers crossed that happens. Again, if you wanna see it come sooner, or if you wanna make sure they hit their schedule, make sure you guys sound off of your desire for the headrest. And in terms of price, they told me, like I was really worried because when they talked about all the engineering and the design that's gonna go into it, it's a much more complex headrest than on the Aeron, which has a clip here and only has to extend, you know, yay high, right? This thing's gonna have to go really high and really low. It's gonna have to figure out how to beat physics here in terms of wobbliness. So all of that. So I was worried it's gonna be a really high price tag. And they told me that they're actually gonna try to keep it in line with the Aeron's headrest which is a sub $200 headrest. So they're gonna try their best to do that. Again, these guys are not using cheap stuff. They're using high quality plastics, everything made in the USA, everything meant to be an aesthetic match in terms of materials, everything like that. So this is not cheap stuff. This is enthusiast level headrest, right? And that's the reason for the price. Again, you guys can use my link and my code down below for $5 off when that gets here. So now I'm gonna to go to my Reddit post that I posted just before I recorded this, and I'm gonna to try to answer any questions that I haven't already addressed. So give me a second. So right now it is 1.19 a.m. Eastern. I'm so tired, guys. Um, but the, the cutoff is now, okay? So I'm gonna read through these questions and see if I haven't already answered them, and I'll answer what I can. So Terry658 asks, will there be a headrest for both Logitech and regular bodies? I answered that question already. Will you have a headrest for each color of the regular body? Answered that as well. Will the headrest match the fabric? Again, answered that as well. Medley, sync in black and gray, and the gaming and bodies are all guaranteed to get a headrest in both white and graphite frames. Trumpian Era says, I have a black balance fabric and white titanium body. Please release a headrest for that also. Um, you might be in my position. You might not get a balanced one, but we might get a black other one. All right, thanks for doing God's work. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll order black model with black sink fabric. Yes, do that. That's guaranteed to get one. Most of my questions are about color from Warp Spoon. I got a custom color and body, which I love. Will they come in all possible colors or at least come in the neutral colors and materials? Again, neutral color meaning black and gray, uh, graph and uh, medley and sink. A lot of these questions are about that, so I'm gonna skip over. I want one of the, uh, one three real Rikul says, I want one of these for my Aaron. Love your videos on you spell my last name incorrectly. I'm coming after you. Just kidding. It happens a lot. I also have the Embody, so I think I'll see what they come out with. I hope they don't, I hope I do not have to modify my chair at all and it comes close to a cost of a hundred bucks. Again, I told you guys why it won't be a hundred dollars and um, will you have to modify? Atlas, I think I mentioned this, I'm so tired that I don't remember. Atlas was flirting with the idea of like heavily modding the chair in order to get this headrest to work, but they opted not to do that and opted to go with something less intrusive. Yeah, doubt, yeah, Thunderstruck, wise on you. It's gonna be close to 200, doubt we're gonna get $100 price range. Vseek says, yeah, I'm really interested in different fabric options. Yep, there you go. Wildberry Sink, Mexican Joker says, I have Wildberry Sink. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully they can do a custom order for you. Uh, again, sound off that you want that, that idea to be reality. Serge X says, does the headrest clamp in one or two places? I saw some pics and the current single clamp looks like a bad design. Too much stress, exactly what I talked about. Too much stress on a single point. Looks like it might snap off if I have it on the maximum height and grab it by the headrest. I don't know how exactly how Embody's gonna solve it, or Atlas is gonna solve this. And if they did, you know, people would steal their idea. So I'm, I don't know. Um, they, I just know that Atlas Headrest Express that they figured it out. Like they're, they're, they basically figured that part out. So Chocolate says, this is awesome. Last piece of the puzzle. It is really awesome. Just needs to get here faster because I want one. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really need one. I'm finding myself, like my wife uses my Aeron because she loves the headrest so much that I find that when I want to lean back, I'm switching chairs so that I can get a headrest, right? So, okay. And then Joe Flamer says, should we expect different release dates for the classic and the Logitech and body? I'm looking forward to buying one for my Logitech chair. Again, Atlas Headrest told me that the gaming embodies, I, I don't know if there's going to be a time lag between various headrests, but if there is one, the gaming embodies are getting one first. So again, I know that not everybody's going to be thrilled about that, but again, I can't guarantee if they're going to release all the headrests at once or if they're going to do a trial run with the gaming embodies first. But again, the gaming embodies have the most volume. And so therefore, they're going to be the guaranteed ones to get their headrest and possibly get their headrest first. 
All right, guys, that's all the questions that I have here on the subreddit. Again, sound off in the comments, do everything you need to do. I'm really tired, but I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Use the links to pick up whatever you need to. Hope it helps you guys. Until next time, stay safe. And as always, oh, I'll be, I'll be active in the comment section as much as possible as well. So again, stay safe and as always, stay honest. Oh, and please check out The Blind Guys. I really appreciate it. I'm super excited about that channel. I really wanna grow it. Appreciate you guys, bye.